In the heart of a mystical weaver's den, amidst the silence and serenity, Tanay, the guardian of time, prepares for his day. Each tool, a relic of ages past, holds the power to mend the fabric of time itself. But tranquility is a fleeting guest in the life of a time weaver. A sudden glow beckons from the shadows, where threads of history await Tanay's touch. Approaching the tapestry, Tanay is drawn to a rip in the fabric, a tear in the continuum that whispers of a mission yet undone. Visions of 1930 India flood through the breach, where the Salt March, a pivotal moment in the struggle for independence, is threatened. The unity of a nation hangs in balance, jeopardized by the mysterious disappearance of a torchbearer meant to lead the way. With the fabric of time itself at risk, Tanay's mission is clear. He must journey through the weave of history to mend the tear and ensure the flame of freedom burns bright. For in the hands of a time weaver, the past is never truly behind us, and every thread counts in the tapestry of time. With the destiny of a nation's spirit in his hands, Tanay steps forward, ready to traverse the streams of time. The fabric of the tapestry swirls, a portal opening to an era of struggle and hope. Emerging into the world of 1930s India, the air buzzes with the energy of change and the whispers of defiance. Disguising himself as a participant, Tanay blends into the crowd, his heart beating in rhythm with the marcher's resolve. The spirit of resistance is palpable, a sea of determined souls marching as one towards freedom. Tanai's quest is clear, to find the missing torchbearer whose flame must reach Gandhi to light the path ahead. Amidst the chants for freedom, Tane listens for whispers of the torchbearer's fate, a puzzle piece lost in the fabric of time. The journey is fraught with challenges, but Tane's resolve is as steadfast as the marchers surrounding him. Each step forward is a step back in time, a journey not just through space, but through the hearts of a people united for a cause. As the march continues, Tanay's search for the torchbearer grows more urgent, the weight of history pressing upon his shoulders. As Tanay delves deeper into the heart of the march, the shadow of colonial power looms large, threatening the unity of the people. Whispers of the torchbearer's fate reach Tanay's ears, captured by colonial forces, a strategic move to dampen the spirits of the march. In the dead of night, Tanay embarks on a daring plan to infiltrate the colonial stronghold where the torchbearer is held captive. Using his wit and time-weaving skills, Tanay evades detection, his every move a silent dance with fate. The colonial fort, a maze of corridors and cells, holds not just the torchbearer, but the hopes of a nation. Tanai's resolve hardens. The freedom of the torchbearer is synonymous with the flame of freedom itself, a beacon that must not be extinguished. As Tanay stands on the threshold of the cell, the fate of the Salt March, and indeed the struggle for independence, hangs in the balance. In the dim light of the cell, Tane and the torchbearer's eyes meet, a silent understanding passing between them. With swift movements, Tane frees the torchbearer, their escape now but a breath away from reality. But freedom is never easily won. The sound of approaching guards heightens the tension, a reminder of the dangers that lurk in the shadows. Using his time-weaving skills, Tane creates a diversion a shadow play that misleads their pursuers and buys them precious moments. The duo navigates the fort's labyrinthine corridors, their escape a testament to Tanay's ingenuity and the torchbearer's unbroken spirit. As they reach the fort's outer walls, the first light of dawn caresses the horizon, a symbol of the new hope dawning for the marchers. But their journey is not without its final hurdles. A patrol blocks their path to freedom, the end seemingly within grasp, yet perilously out of reach. With a deep breath, Tane channels his time-weaving magic, bending the light around them, rendering them invisible to the watchful eyes of their foes. Their footsteps silent against the soft earth, 
They emerge from the shadows of oppression, stepping into the light of freedom. As they blend back into the march, the torchbearer's presence rekindles the flame of hope, their spirits lifted by the return of their missing beacon. With the torchbearer's flame illuminating the path, the marcher's spirits soar, their chants for freedom echoing into the dawn. Tanai watches from the sidelines, a silent guardian whose intervention has rewoven the fabric of history, ensuring the march's place in the annals of time. As the march continues towards its historic conclusion at Dandy, Tanay slips away, his task complete, but his journey far from over. Back in the weaver's den, the tapestry of time awaits, its rip mended, the timeline restored. As he steps back, the tapestry's glow fades, its stories once again secure within the weave of time. In the quiet of the den, Tanay reflects on the power of peaceful protest, inspired by the enduring spirit of those who march for their rights. The flame of freedom, once at risk of being extinguished, now burns brighter in the hearts of the marchers, its light a beacon for future generations. As Tanay prepares for his next adventure, the tapestries around him whisper of untold stories, each thread a call to action, a plea for preservation. In the weaver's den, where time and history intertwine, Tanay stands as a guardian of the past, a weaver of destiny, ensuring that the tapestry of time remains unbroken. Where will we visit tomorrow? Tomorrow's adventure is only a night away.